Yes, uh, welcome dito sa robotics area namin. So, uh, Armscore is uh, really uh, doing its best to be uh, maintain its uh, structure to be one of the biggest uh, gun manufacturing in Asia and in the world. So, mostly our product is uh, imported, so 80% of our sales are uh, abroad. And then, uh, right now we are here at robotics area. So, this is our take on Industry 4.0. This is our initial setup uh, where we uh, exhibit our uh, new technologies such as uh, automation and robotic arms. So, we have two setups here. We have the uh, uh, first setup for M1911 frame. This is a collaborative ro uh, articulated robot setup. So, naka enclosed siya because medyo mataas yung load ng robot. So, robot uh, basically does pick and place. So, as you can see, it, it picks the uh, material to be machine. So, once na available na yung mga machine, it replaces siya doon. Then, also, kapag tapos na yung work piece, kukuhanin niya and then it will put it back to its tray and then into the conveyor pag tapos na. So right now, uh, ang katapos lang eh. As you can see earlier, may kinuwad na dun sa dulong machine because tapos na siya and then it plays it to the conveyor. And then we have other robot set up there for STK100. So, tinan natin yung sa may conveyor side. Then, it will place the uh, work piece to be machine. Ito yung raw material niya. So ito yung pupuntahan niya sa PFPI later on. So this is from PFPI. A uh, 4140 uh, cast. Then ito na yung na machine. So pinaka ito yung raw material. Then ito yung tinatawag namin na PD1 and PD2. So uh, isang setup lang siya. So once the material is done, so it's subject to checking. So every line, uh, we have this uh, what we call an equator machine. It's basically a CAM machine used for measuring. Okay. So what is that? So automatically uh, uses a probe to program na rin tong machine na to to check the dimensions. Okay. Yeah. So once uh, it touches the actual piece and then gives data to the computer okay. na, na uh, to send it the kung tama ba yung mga sukat na nilabas ng machine. So once checked here, um, possibly if may kunting uh, um, misalignment or dahil nag-wear na yung mga tools, ma ma -de -de ma send it, makikita dito yung data sa computer and then mag-check yung mga machine or setup. Oh, so does it happen often, sir? Minsan lang. Siyempre, we use these tools like uh, drills and mail. So, pumupuro sila for yeah. time. So, lalabas dito na yung mga butas natin dahil purol na yung drill, possibly niya lumit na yung butas. So, we have to check it, then papalitan na ng bago, and then continue sa purol sa okay. So, with that, also, sa bangkit ko, uh, na yung tool natin na we So, we have this, uh, what we call, yung pinaka parang command center natin, which is our tooling management system. So, what is that? So, ito yung pinaka, uh, Para pinaka-server, uh, what we call this, yung pinaka-machine cabinet namin, parang siya yung command center, we're connected siya sa lahat ng machine na nandito. So, 16 machine yung meron tayo ngayon dito. Lahat sila connected to server. Then, itong machine na ito yung nag-co-collect ng data. So, we set the tools at a certain light. Then, i-co-project na the tools kin na kailangan na siyang palitan. So, because namin, automated siya dahil every run ng machine, 
pinipid dito na data na oh running yung machine mo hindi siya naka standby lang hindi siya naka on lang it is running so kung makapansin nyo sa screen yung kulay green ibig sabihin nagra-run yung machine natin yellow naka idle siya and then yung orange naka pause so with that uh, yung mga boss namin so they have access for this through sa office namin through our intra web so kahit wala sila dito they can check that uh, the machines are running then it also produces automatic report so yung efficiency ng mga machine uh, nag automatic na gumagawa na siya ng mga chart and table na pwedeng i-check ng mga bosses namin so that is part of uh, industry 4.0 yung internet of things okay. okay so we are here uh, our SDK 100 is made of uh, solid aluminum block so, as you can see we have 4 robots here Papansin nyo hindi siya enclosed kasi um, yung mga robot dyan is what we call collaborative robot. So kahit may tao sa area, hindi sila ma-harm. So mas light load sila and then you can work with it. So pinaka material niya is aluminum block, uh, 7075 T6. So akala ng iba molded siya eh. Pero actually ito na mismo yung uh, frame material, yung uh, pinaka part. Okay. So from solid block. Then it it turns. So once na tapos na yung first part, eto na ba palik tarin siya for second operation. Then eto na yung magiging labas. Okay. So also this material is used for aircraft grade, dahil uh, lightweight siya and very durable. What we have here is a uh, robot sanding. Uh, it does the sanding operation. Yeah, 80% of sanding operation of our frame. So, ito yung uh, finish part dun sa kanina. And then may, may added operation na siya. Almost finish na siya. So, sa subject na siya for sanding operation to smoothen the surface. So, we have here a uh, robot sanding. Articulated robot in siya with 6 uh, degrees of freedom. So it does all the sanding, 80% of the sanding operation. Uh, it can produce uh, 200 to 300 grain per day. So we have various of M1911 models and deep, you know, from different calibers starting from 45, 40, we also have 22 TCM, our own um, trademark caliber. Then we also have XT pistols. So this is our STK uh, pistol. This is the assembled one. So nakita niya siguro sa labas. So yeah, it has no different colors. And we also do uh, different finishes, such as hydrographics, uh, yung black is yung parkerized finish namin, nickel plating, yung polished nickel, and also with uh, Seracote, we do Seracoting. And then before we produce shotguns, uh, different uh, rifle models, 
So as you can see before, uh, wood and gun stock pa siya, but the price of wood also increased and then uh, valuable na siya. So we ventures on polymer gun stocks. Benefit din ng polymer sir, it's lighter. Yeah, it's lighter. So yun eh, doon na papunta yung production. Then we have this, our AFP pistol that we supply. Alala nyo yung Marawi Siege. Uh, President uh, Duterte asked for pistols for our troops. So we produce immediately 3,000 pieces of this. Then part of acceptance niya is firing it for 6,000 rounds. So we tested it and it has zero malfunction. So ito yung mga actual cartridge na bala, six, part ng 6,000 rounds. So manually pinatok. So part nga si Sir Mike na sila, kasama sila na nabot ng gabi. So we also do custom, custom guns and custom markings like commemorative pistols. And so that's that's basically it for running models. Hi, Sir. <laughs> Sir Another master gunsmith from US. Yeah. Yes. So, Sir Nel is based in the Anchor USA. Mm -hmm. uh, he's the one behind the medallion. So he designed the medallion, and time to time he goes here in the Philippines to design a lot of customized firearms for someone. <laughs> yeah, for someone. For some. Uh, VIPs and then uh, we started the medallion actually uh, year 2001 mm -hmm. and then uh, we launched it at 2002 mm -hmm. and uh, and then I attended the SHOT Show 2003 and then uh, they they know me about uh, doing uh, a nice gun and then uh, they moved me I moved to the US uh, 2007. 2007 so he came here originally here in Arms for yeah. What's the difference between the medallion and then? Because our our platform is 1911, mm -hmm. and, and medallion is uh, there's a lot of engineering works in, behind the medallion rather than the other yeah. uh, pistols. Yeah, of we we created the uh, medallion uh, just because uh, some of the shooters wanted to uh, hand fit uh, the barrel like a uh, oversized or much barrel, much bushing, everything, and then. Uh, we have a team of, uh, I have a me, uh, medallion team that uh, works on that. Uh, one by one, we uh, we assembled it uh, by piece by piece, and then uh, match match fit all the uh, all the accessories. That's why medallion is a really a uh, high end pistol, to be exact, uh, because it was uh, made by a by a, a gunsmith that uh, knows how to fit everything.